Bunny, and it's a beautiful day for mind control. Today, we are gonna try a very, very exciting, does this thing really work? Today, we are gonna be trying the Puzzle Box Orbit Brain Controlled Helicopter. And this is not technically an as seen on TV item, but I have seen this all over the internet. So I had to get one for myself to see if it worked or not. I thought it would be interesting. I thought you guys would enjoy it. I hope you enjoy it. Please enjoy it. Today, we are going to be using our brains and fly a helicopter with them. This item has taken three days of preparation because it involves brains and electricity, flying things, technology, iPhones, yada yada. It comes with many different pieces, all which have to be charged for several, several hours. So what this thing is, is this circular, extremely lightweight, I'm just gonna say I don't think that this is for the younger children, because this literally feels like it could snap at any moment. Maybe it's made out of like something super strong that feels flimsy, but... I don't know, feels like some plastic. This is the helicopter part, the part that you control with your mind. And it also comes with this little uh, transmitter thing which plugs into a device like a cell phone or a tablet. And it comes with this which you control like like this, like, can you hear me, Major Tom? Like this kind of, and this clips to your ear. Anyway, let's just get this party started because I'm not exactly sure how long this is going to take to kind of set up because there is an app that you have to use, which I already conveniently downloaded during my three day setup process. Let's just see if we can get this started. I have watched numerous videos describing how this thing works and how it's controlled and I know that there's like different things like supposedly you have to focus like do like arithmetic problems in your head help us please or like think of long words or something and you can kind of set it to how easy it is to think of things and make it fly or how hard it is like i thought i could just stare at it and say like fly fly and like it would fly but maybe that's not the case i'm gonna try and connect this via bluetooth on my phone real quick i hope it's gonna be easy this was pretty easy to connect via bluetooth so now i'm going to put it on my head so uh, this is where the actual like reading sensor i think is and this is supposed to be on your brain and then there's like this ear thing that you wrap behind your ear and then you clip this clip like can can you see the clip you clip the clip to your ear like that's so fashionable somebody call vogue I went ahead and turned on and this takes quite a few hours to charge up but they give you like a little charging cord that plugs into like a standard USB port for phones or whatever else you might charge via USB and then there's this piece which is some kind of transmitter that you're supposed to plug into the bottom of a tablet or an iPhone or whatever you're going to be running the app off of and this is honestly what confuses me the most and I had to charge this up for several seconds several hours. I charged it up overnight actually because it seemed to be taking quite a while and I don't really see how to turn the power on. I think it's just something that's supposed to be coming on. There's a lot of pieces involved with this and whenever you plug this in you're supposed to turn the volume all the way up on your device which I just did. You're supposed to be able to set it on a couple of different brain settings depending on how easy or how difficult you want to make this thing to fly. So the easiest is just by blinking your eyes, which takes no thought, thank goodness. And then kind of like the middle difficulty is you're supposed to be in a state of relaxation or meditation so you can take deep breaths or relax all your muscles, clear your mind of any specific thoughts and close your eyes or the hardest thing is the attention focus level which you're supposed to like concentrate on a single thought or do math in your head listen to somebody talking I wonder if you could like listen to music or something oh no I maybe just broke it this is the hardest device I've ever set up in my life it keeps saying that it failed to connect but then I just stared at it and it literally just took off fly Fly. 
Okay. I don't know what's going on. Oh! Stop flying. Okay, calm down. Look at this. It's just, look at what it's doing. I, you can't even see. Okay, stop flying. Relax. I think mine is totally not working. I'm not even thinking of that. Okay, all right, I'm gonna try and like, that shit, okay, stop, stop, stop. Um, see, it keeps just saying failed to connect. And yet it's doing this. Did I get a broken one? I've literally been sitting here for 20 minutes and it just says like failed to connect, failed to connect. I've read through all the troubleshooting. This is a nightmare. All right, wish me luck. Please don't fly away. That's what I'm thinking. Don't move. This is equally as hard to set up as the Wubble Bubble. Do you guys remember that fun of last summer? And then it turned out to be my favorite device. So I'm really rooting for this one. I hope that somehow my brain and this device can communicate in some kind of futuristic way. Okay, I just, no, 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 okay, I'm not thinking. Think of nothing. It is so hard when something is attached to your brain. I'm trying to talk very calmly so that I don't accidentally send this thing into orbit. I had to turn everything off and turn it back on and I am in attention mode at like 40%. See, this thing is just always like scanning these meters. You're not, you can't, okay. Uh, this thing is always scanning and the meters are forever sliding up and down. I'm gonna think fly, fly, fly. I don't understand this thing. Dude, it won't stop flying and then it will not fly. <laughs> okay, see, I did not, oh, oh, oh. Okay, it's flying, it's flying on the floor. It's eating a sock on the floor. How am I doing this? I'm literally not, now it's just bouncing. Okay, stop flying. Stop flying. Fly higher. Yes, okay. I don't know what I'm doing to control. This thing, ah, stop, stop. Okay, fly higher, fly higher, fly higher in the air. No! Is it broken? Is it dead yet? <laughs> okay. Fly very high in the air. I command you. Why can't I just push a button and make it fly? Now I'm just wanting like a radio controlled helicopter device and not really a mind controlled device. Okay, it's saying that it has 100% power and 100% signal. Maybe I need to like stand up to fully command this terrible mind fleet. Okay, fly, fly. Okay, I'm concentrating. I want it to fly. I'm thinking in my mind, I want it to fly. And it's just sitting here, making me look like a total idiot. Where's the setting for blinking, okay? Cause I am really good at blinking. I'm blinking right now, lots of times. I'm actually kind of concerned that it's broken because I had a sock on the floor and it like sucked up a sock and was like, <gasps> like trying to eat the sock and it was a really terrible thing to watch. It just spin and spiral and suck up socks and I can't even make a little plasticky flying helicopter fly in the air using my own mental power. What does that say? This is not a real confidence booster. I just want you to know that. I need another tutorial or something. A tutorial on how to think. Okay, maybe if I just remain totally calm, totally calm. I have no thoughts. I'm thinking of nothing. How can you think of nothing? That's a ridiculous request. Puzzle orbit mind ball. This app is really agitating. Also, I just had to, okay, all right. Just do whatever you want. So first I'm gonna strap this terrible thing onto your brain. This, is, and this goes behind your ear and this clips like a beautiful earring. All right, does that feel great? Yeah. So you're trying to control that with your mind. Okay, tell it to fly. 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 <laughs> fly. <laughs> why did you say the same? Dude, it's at a, it was at 100% power for a really long time. Whatever you were thinking about, some really smart stuff, I guess, over here in smart land. Dude, this is a toy to make you feel really bad about yourself. Okay. I'm gonna turn it up just, oh my God, you're making it fly with your mind. Look at that. Put that close to it is probably what you have to do. 
Oh, you think this has got to be close to this? Maybe you use this to aim. No, you're supposed to be able to tell it where to go with your brains. You're supposed to be able to be like, fly high, fly low. Okay, try and make it fly. Try, <laughs> as if you haven't been trying before. I really want you to try now. Ah, no! Ah. Okay, tell the space beast to descend. This is great, okay, or keep it going. Ugh. All right, no! Oh, see if you can, okay, see if you can do just that again. Okay. What are you thinking of? Okay, do you, have you controlled it now? Kind of. <laughs> I'm glad we're filming this in the room with all the breakables. How are you doing this? Oh, you had it upside down. <laughs> Tell me what you were doing. How? Don't you don't know? No. Okay, so there was no clear pattern that you were doing to get it to fly. There wasn't like any set thing you were doing. I was thinking about my toe. You what? Feeling my toe. You were thinking about your toe. I was toe. thinking about one toe. One. The sensation of one toe. This is why this still doesn't make any sense to me, okay? Because it says, as long as you're over the set threshold, and since we're in tester mode, I pick something low, okay? And see, it's still showing all things are connected, 100% power, 100% signal, so it should be flying right now. I think this thing's kind of bogus. I'm not sure what to say. Let me try one more time, because I'm so offended that I can't get it to work at all. Who's today's challenge champion? You are. You are. No, I'm not. You are. No, I didn't make it fly. <laughs> You're just nice. Do you want to tell them goodbye with your genius brain? You goodbye. can just, no, you can just psychically say it. With your mind. <laughs> <laughs> what are you psychically telling them now? Oh my goodness. You know what? Maybe it's this headband. I'm gonna blame it on the headband because that's that's a, a less hurtful thing to think. I think it just needs time. Ah! Okay, okay, okay. I have no control over my own mind. Ah! Okay, stop flying. Fly, stop flying. Come down. What is going on? It's just flying by itself. Look. Ah! Okay. I'm over it. That's like a perfect illustration as to how I have no control over my own mind. This is a depressing toy! Disconnect me, take me out of the game. You're not done with it, you want to use it some more. No. Okay, so you like it. Mm. No? I think it's cool. You think? I, I mean, it, I think maybe work. it's just a bad device for like test, oh man, now I have this thing on my head. I think maybe it's just a bad device to, to test out on camera. I won't 100% say, I don't want to 100% say that this thing does work or it doesn't work, but it definitely takes some getting used to. And when I was reading in the manual, it also says it won't control things like moving it left or right. It, it's only supposed to literally make it fly or not fly. I'm kind of thinking that this app is a little bit touchy and maybe does not work the best. They say that they're gonna come out with like different versions and downloads, like kind of, you know, like an updatable software or an app, just like any other app. And hopefully that will make it work a little bit better because all you're supposed to be able to do is set these little thresholds here. And any time that it shows signal and power 100% and it crosses over, crosses? crushers over the threshold, it's supposed to make it fly, but nine times out of 10, it doesn't. And I don't really know, anytime I've gotten it to fly, like I was not thinking of any specific thing. I literally felt like I had no control over my mind at all. And I tried doing it silently too, because it says not to talk. It says not to blink. I really don't know how you're supposed to not blink. He's had the most success, but 
even he's saying like his things that he was thinking of, it wasn't like standardly working. Like every time I think of this, it's gonna work. Maybe the lights are causing some kind of interference or the camera like he was saying is causing some kind of ear interference. I don't know. Like this video, comment down below if you want us to try and do a showdown redo of this device to see if we can make it work any better. The whole time I was kind of just wishing I could push buttons and make it fly and then I realized I was just wanting like a regular like controlled helicopter that took my mind out of the equation. The price tag is really, really expensive. It is $200 plus shipping and handling. So I'm not sure like if it's just too frustrating or I'm just not enjoying it enough. I don't know. I'm not really sure if it's worth $200, bottom verdict. I'm really excited to hear you guys' feedback, thoughts, comments. Thank you guys so, so much for hanging out with me today and for watching. If you're not already and you'd like to be, hit this button down below, subscribe, become a member of the Swamp Family and give an alligator its wings. Also, if you want, you can like me on Facebook, facebook.com slash graveyardgirl, or you can follow me on Twitter, Tumblr, or Instagram at graveyardgirl, same way it's spelled here. I love you guys so, so much, and I will see y'all tomorrow. Bye.